Hi guys and girls, uh, this is a really quick video tutorial on how to use the there.com layout editor and I'm going to be using the Sunset Manor as an example for this. So firstly I've just dropped a standard one acre pass. What I'm doing here is I'm just going to stand in one spot and drop out, uh, firstly drop one, uh, drop two and then the extra collision meshes that I've got here for the Sunset Manor. Now, once I've dropped the collision meshes and ran away a little bit from the Sunset Manor, you'll notice something, how can I put it, peculiar? Yeah, I did. Um, okay. Let's let my little guy run away there. Okay, well, now what seems to have happened uh, is, for some reason, even though the drop nodes are in exactly the same place, the interior is, mm, I don't know, 10 meters out of line with the exterior so ordinarily what you would do is you would pick it up and then just use your nudge tool to nudge it back 10 meters and all would be fine however I'm going to show you how to do this precisely using the there.com layout heads so, so first what I need to do is to go into uh, layout options I need to save the layout so I'm gonna call it sunset here make sure freeze layout is ticked in your layout options uh, before you do any of this. Okay, so it's already saved now uh, onto my computer. Now, the link is in the sidebar to the right of this video for the layout editor. Once you click on that, you'll get save. Um, I've saved it to my desktop. It's a zip file, so I'm opening it. This is all in real time, by the way. Now I'm going to extract it to a folder on my desktop just by pressing extract on whatever unzip program you've got. There's the folder down there, layout editor. We give that a double click and you've got setup and next next this is how this this really is how quick it is now I've not speeded this up in any way okay once it's installed you'll find it on the start menu with your um, programs don't go looking in your there folder for it okay there it is I'm just gonna drag it onto my desktop to create a shortcut so it's always there now I've already got a shortcut on my desktop so it's gonna ask me to replace it if you've never installed it before it's not going to ask you to do that, of course. I'm going to double click the layout editor file. Remember, I've already saved the file. So open, and you should probably have a few. There you go, there's sunset. Click OK. Now you can see the three drops that I've put in and you, their position in space X, Y, Z, and heading. All we do here, as you can probably see, is I'm dragging across the X heading, uh, uh, sorry, the X number at the moment, now the Y. I'm pressing Control and C on drop one and on drop two in the extra collisions all I'm doing is dragging across and pressing control and V to paste it in basic all we're doing here is simply making sure that all the numbers are exactly the same and they match up okay I don't think that should need any more explanation god I hope not if it, uh, okay now we're going to file and save it's as simple as that back into there.com layout and then we go to load and we select sunset again and load click original and ta-da there you go all three pieces will load back again only this time everything is in the correct place now I'm just going to show you what happens here if now I've put on this on purpose actually I've sunk it too low so that you got grass coming through now the Z number of Z number sorry Z number for Americans um, that relates to the height of the house now you can see I'm making it a lower number although technically speaking it's a higher number because it's in the minus there you go and I've loaded the layout again and ta-da there you go it's fixed so to raise things up all you need to do change the Z number so if it's minus 44 for example and you put it at minus 43 it's going to be higher um, if it's at minus 44 when you drop it and you put it at minus 45 you're going to be lowering the whole thing um, and I think that's about all you need to know uh, if you've got any questions leave them in the comments section you can send me um, a personal message on YouTube or you could just send me an email through there.com uh, but that should be pretty much clear okay right take care guys um, and I will see you all on there.com soon bye bye